Hello YouTube, let's learn something new about MySQL and that is very basic stuff like creating databases and deleting them. So I will start, start with a new terminal here because I want to clear airspace, you know, for our next tutorials. So let me reposition a couple of things here. Extra secure password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and let's check situation from last time. Show databases, okay and not show database, there is a difference and that this will not work. So just show databases. So that's cool. Now, when you are working in a, your terminal, you will do stuff manually, one operation after one operation. But when you learn programming languages or scripting languages, and then you will be able in a one script to do a multiple operations like create multiple databases, and uh, multiple tables and populate those tables from uh, other sources like uh, textual file, Excel file, uh, CSV file, even other databases like um, Microsoft Access, you know, you can do that too. So where I was, yeah, let's create one thing like create database, create database, only one, friends, like that show on the TV. And let's do another thing create database stamps because I started collecting stamps not because I especially like them but because of uh, monetary value I can resell it on websites I actually bought 6,000 of them for a very low price like it ridiculously low price and they're all ones like uh, 100 years old so that was good investment anyway let's press enter and there you go okay so how to well, you know that from last tutorial. If you want to use it, you will say use, for example, friends. Okay. And now you are here. Now you can issue command. And normally, if you have databases here, you will say something like show tables from friends. But nothing is here. So result is empty set. So how to delete uh, databases? You will say drop. Okay. Uh, database only one and that will be friends and that's fine and you will also say drop database what was it uh, stamps so that's pretty much it you know nothing fancy here Right, so this is very, very short tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to create tables, how to work with them, how to structure them, populate them, and so on. So thank you for watching, as always. And as I said, this was very simple, but in the next tutorial, and from now on, we will start creating a little bit complicated things. So thank you for watching, and see you next tutorial.